Hi, I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter. And I want to talk with you today about the end of the interview and, and one of the questions you might, or one of the techniques you might approach. Now, for those of you who don't know my idea of the single best question you should ask on any interview, um, watch that video, download the book from my website, TheBigGameHunter.us. Pay what you want for it. It's a great question to ask at the beginning of the interview in order to find out about the job and be able to use that information throughout your interview. As I've said in other videos, I want you to start off that section of the interview where you normally ask about the job with a question that makes them talk about what you want to what they want you to accomplish during the first year with the firm, during the first 90 days with the firm, stuff along those lines. But I also want you, want you to think a little bit further and go into a little bit more detail. Here's one of the questions I want, or here's one of the scenarios I want to ask you in terms of your preparation. If you interviewed with a job with Facebook and you never use the product, do you think you might be qualified? Well, you could come up with all sorts of rationalizations, but you really wouldn't understand how the business works and what they do and stuff like that. How about if you interviewed with Google and had never done a Google search before? Again, it's a complicated scenario. You know, maybe there's some jobs that you'd be qualified for, but not a heck of a lot. Same thing we interview with a lot of other organizations. Why not ask informed questions about the firm, its business, and how you fit in? You know, you work for a car company. You're interviewing for, I don't know, a design role. Um, how, how are design decisions made? You know, do, do you drive up at Ford in a Mazda? Probably not. Uh, the interview with uh, at Pepsi and bring in a Coke product? Probably not. Uh, do you do things that, you know, might ask about how the design decisions are made, um, you know, indicate your curiosity about a particular curve in the line of the car um, that really got you excited and how, how that got created. Yeah, you do stuff like that. Um, you put a twinkle in your eye as you talk about these things. Um, you know, maybe it's a car accessory uh, and you, to, you, know, you talk in a way that um, shows your passion for cars and um, your curiosity about the product and um, you know, whatever it is. You know, go an extra layer that demonstrates some product knowledge as well. Uh, don't fake it at the time of the interview. Actually take some time to prepare for this because um, you know, they'll pick you apart otherwise and find out you're a bullshit artist. So you know, don't be uh, goofy about this. Uh, so. You know, I think it, it's very helpful when you interview to show some product knowledge and some product curiosity rather than just appear ignorant. So this is Jeff Altman. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did and you watch it on YouTube, share it, leave a comment, click the like button, do something that lets people know it's worthwhile. Go over to TheBigGameHunter.us. I've got a lot more there. Uh, you know, you, you can watch, listen to, or read my content. Uh, as I mentioned, you can download copies of my books Pay what you want for them. Um, you know, a lot of good information there. So, again, the site is TheBigGameHunter.us. A few final things. First of all, if your current firm is trying to hire someone, send me an email at uh, Jeff Altman at TheBigGameHunter.us. Next, if we're not already connected on LinkedIn, send me a connection request at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash The Big Game Hunter. I accept connection requests from people worldwide, except if you're a third party recruiter or look like a scam or two. Finally, finally, uh, resumes these names, these need to be perfect. And the fact of the matter is, almost every resume I see needs some fixes to it. You know, there are a lot of services that offer free resume critiques, but the fact of the matter is they're going to be selling you the resume right uh, or a rewrite or a cover letter that you should add in and charge quite a few hundred dollars for it. You know, I, I've seen prices more than $500 for this stuff. Uh, let me critique your resume. Uh, you know, you can find out about it at uh, bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y uh, uh, forward slash uh, critique, uh, C-R-I-T-I-Q-U-E. Uh, let me critique your resume, follow the instructions there, uh, to place your order, be happy to help you. 
This is Jeff Altman. Have a great day. Take care.